The lure of digging up treasure out of the ground has always appealed to Australians, but sometimes it's not what's under the ground is where the treasure's at, it's above ground. And here in the opal mining town of Whitecliffs in western New South Wales, this little town is punching well above its weight. Pub owners, Matt and Sarah, have taken out a prestigious award, the Australian Hotel Association's Best Bush Pub. So this is a phenomenal award, you must be really, really proud. Yeah, we're very proud. Um, it's put Whitecliffs back on the map and yeah. attracting more visitors. We do get people come and visit just because we're the best bush pub. Yeah, yeah it's pretty um, exciting. I mean, you've come from a cattle station to a pub. You had really no experience before? No, nothing. I've been in pub, yeah. but on the other side. But nothing, <laughs> nothing. Um, never worked in one. Is it di different to only owning a pub to being on the other side of the bar? Yeah, a fair bit, yeah. Yeah, you, you've you actually got to do something in here. You've got to pour beers, you've got to learn how to use a till, you've got to learn how to press a button on things to make buzzers work, and if you forget that, then the chef gets cranky. And I reckon the cattle are easier to work than computers. <laughs> yeah, and some of the humans as well. But it's not just Matt and Sarah who are championing Whitecliffs. I want to introduce to you 77-year-old Enid Black, who's an absolute lifesaver. In two ways, she's the local lifeguard at the pool and the town's only volunteer Ambo. So I drive the ambulance, long distances really, usually from the clinic out to the airstrip, yeah. And we're a long way from anywhere out here at Whitecliffs, we really are, yeah. and, and so is the Royal Flying Doctor Service part of the medical situation? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And do they come out here often? Uh, they come out for clinic once a week. Yeah and when they're on call with, you know, a serious accident or illness. And what's, what does a clinic involve? What do they do? Oh, they do the lot. And, you know, you've usually got someone there that gives 24-hour service just to look after people, assess them and work out whether they're a fly-out or not. Yes. If they're a fly-out, 35 minutes later, we've got a plane on the airstrip up here. You are also a, a paid lifeguard at the local pool. And are you a good swimmer? I used to be a good swimmer and I used to enjoy it. Age catches up with all of us. <laughs> but I'm a good lifeguard. I... Haven't lost a kid yet. <laughs> so frankly, from what I can see, every remote town should have an Enid in it because, I mean, you're, you're, the, you're the backbone of the town. I mean, it's great to see you so active and proactive. Yeah, I like being proactive. I'm a people's person, which is why I just can't help myself. <laughs> in hard-bitten opal mining towns like Whitecliffs, you don't have to dig too deep to find a few gems amongst the rough diamonds. But if you dig deep enough, I guarantee you'll find pay dirt. And that's the people who live hard, work hard and play hard. And that's the spirit of the bush. Music